Hello! I will start by reading a little bit from the beginning of Hawkins and Mladenov's book, The Grand, Grand Design. We each exist for but a short time, and in that time explore but a small part of the whole universe. But humans are a curious species. We wonder, we seek answers. Living in this vast world that is by turns kind and cruel, and gazing at the immense heavens above, people have always asked a multitude of questions. How can we understand the world in which we find ourselves? How does the universe behave? What is the nature of reality? Where did all this come from? Did the universe need a creator? Most of us do not spend most of our time worrying about these questions, but almost all of us worry about them some of the time. Traditionally, these are questions for philosophy. But philosophy is dead. Philosophy has not kept up with modern developments in science, particularly physics. Scientists have become the bearers of the torch of discovery in our quest for knowledge. Stephen Weinberg, another Nobel laureate, says a similar thing. And several other scientists uh, say the same thing. In these modern times, most of us are perplexed when we hear somebody announce the, his title as a professional philosopher. What kind of a job is that? As a professional philosopher... We don't see companies advertising for the job of a professional philosopher, nor are there official elections for the post in government of a professional philosopher. We have a president, advisors, senators in government. We have scientists, uh, lawyers, judges and teachers in society. But in ancient Greece, all these jobs were done by philosophers. I give this explanation for the anecdote I'm going to tell you about a famous philosopher logician from ancient Greece. A famous philosopher in ancient Greece, let's call him Anaximander, made money by defending cases in the courts, in the Senate. He decided to make more money by teaching students philosophy and logic. The first student he found offered him a deal. He will pay half of the tuition fee in advance and the other half when he wins his first case. Anaximander agreed. The student paid half of the sum in advance, but after the tuition period, he didn't start his practice. So Anaximander couldn't get the other half of the money. So the philosopher decided to sue his student for the rest of the money. And he said to his student, I will definitely get my money because if I win, you will have to pay me the money. If I lose, this would be the first case that you have won, so you will have to pay me the money. The student answered, no, I will not have to pay you the money because if you win, I would have lost my case, so I won't have to pay you the money. If you lose, I won't have to pay you the money. This is one logical paradox. I have, I know two more. The barber's paradox. In a village there is only one barber shop and the barber put a notice, the barber shaves only men who don't shave themselves. Who shaves the barber? And I remember another paradox. Frege was a famous mathematician and logician. And he wrote a book about logic and about set theory, but just before the book went out of print, uh, Bertrand Russell sent him a letter, so Frege had to um, put some explanation in his book and detract some of his uh, conclusions in the book about set theory. What Russell wrote was the following. Imagine a set of all sets that do not belong to, to themselves, all sets that are not a member 
of themselves. So this set, is it a member of itself? If it is a member of itself, remember it is a set of sets that do not belong to themselves, that are not members of themselves. So if, it, if this set is a member of itself, it cannot be a member of itself. I want to make this video a tag video. I'm tagging the following people. Professor Anton, to be serious, Integral Math, and Zarkov, 45. I'm asking you to make a video with at least one uh, philosophical or mathematical paradox. And you should tag three people. I am tagging four people because with my history of tagging, if one of them does not make a response, <laughs> then at least there will be some people who will make a response. Bye!